Maar zijn beetje een 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 Because is that something that's just too metaphysical and that we cannot understand that or we should just accept that? The, G so, the mystery that? Um, yes, so, we're, so he's fully human. Yes. And fully God. Yes. Yeah. But yet he limits himself. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so my question is, um, we should just go for that one. Yes. He's living himself as God, so he's not in his full man for sleep. Obviously, you know, he's not walking around as God. Okay. Okay. Yeah, manifesting his glory. Okay, now this is... Mm. In Philippians chapter 2, St. Paul um, addresses that. And it's worth reading it, because it's, it's really on the point. Here we are. Philippians 2. Right. Okay. Right. Have this mind among yourselves, which was in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped or held on to. Um, well, yes, I'll finish the quote then and we'll, we'll go to it. Yeah. But emptied himself taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men. <coughs> and being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. So, <coughs> what does this mean? He empties himself. He basically divests himself of the expression of his powers. Now, I say he divests himself of the expression of his powers. His powers are nonetheless there. His powers remain nonetheless but he limits them. An analogy. You take the, the ocean and you take a funnel and you, you, you push the ocean through the funnel. The ocean will come out through the spout of the funnel, but it will come out very, it will come out in, a, in, in small amounts. Yes, but it is still the ocean. And it's still the ocean that's coming out, but it is limited, delimited itself. So that is an analogous with what Christ did when he descended and limited himself in his in expression of his powers. So I didn't, it, I, I, that's very interesting because I never thought about the emptying himself and I thought of the limiting himself that, he, that he's actually emptied himself as a servant. He's saying that I'm, I'm completely obedient yes. to the Lord God and I'm emptying myself as a servant. Yes. And, uh, it's kind of like, it's 100% focus. Yes. But of course, there's no reason, no reason for God to be unable or to not choose to do that. In fact, it's fitting, because if he is to be the redeemer, he redeems everything, including our bodies. And so to be like us, to go through our life and then to die in the manner of a man, it affects the redemption. It would not be a redemption in the fullest sense otherwise, because he would just be there declaring that we are free from the guilt of Adam. But to redeem us means to pay a price. Go to a pawn shop, you redeem what you put in there. You pay the price and you get it back. So that is a, that's the mystery of the redemption.